Hey, what's going on, guys? Your favorite YouTuber here, Sincere, aka Missouri's Cantonella, aka Sebastian. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is the fact that there are some data mined information out there where we have the koi fish, the fireflies, the uh, mosquitoes, and we actually get to see visuals of these things. And uh, some of these things actually provide some stuff for underwater exploration. If you guys don't know about that, I try to go down here as often as I can, but it's very hard because we can't fully breathe underwater yet. So with that being said, let's get right into this video. Now, this information is provided to us by a user by the name of Grounded Guide on Reddit. So check him out. Um, I don't know the YouTube because I didn't see a YouTube link in there. Uh, iPhone doesn't let you just click on like a YouTube link. But this is the name of this person and we're going to just jump right into it. So they did find out some data mine information that there are underwater lanterns. Now the underwater lanterns look just like this. I'll show you guys here. Right there. You see how bright it is, it illuminates everything in front of you. And if you look at this next picture and see how super bright it is, look at that, oh my God. Then you got the firefly on the right side here. If you guys can't see it, hold on, let me change the scene. It is right there on the right side, but I'm gonna take you to a new picture and I'll show you better visuals of the firefly. And the next thing we have here is the firefly head lamp. Now it kind of looks like the mite head uh, lamp, but this one is kind of actually better, I believe. Hold on, let me let me change the quality of this. This thing is like looking like trash right now. There we go, the firefly head lamp, and uh, it looks like there's some new stuff that we have to get in order to get those, but they don't have the visuals for them up yet. And if you look at this guy's feet right here, right? Look at his feet. These are what you would use to walk across the top of water. Uh, I believe they're called like striders or something. You get them from a spider and you take the legs and you uh, format them and you can actually walk on top of water. And if you look over to the far left, you will see that that helmet right there is for underwater exploration. Now you'll see it later on in the video. Let's keep going with it here. And I, this is a video that I made earlier. So I wanted to show you guys how it looks through this type of presentation. Now this here is the visual of a mosquito. Now this person said that they don't believe that they're actually finished making the mosquito. So hopefully they finish it up, but this thing already looks great in my opinion. Let's see, hold on, let me make sure I'm in, yeah, I'm in, I'm in making sure I'm 1080p. But yeah, this thing already looks great to me. The next thing that we have is the Firefly. Now this is the Firefly visuals. As you can see on the back of it, it does illuminate. So later on in life, you can use it for those lanterns, go underwater exploration. That's the only thing that I really wanna do. And this is one of the things that you guys have been waiting for. The Koi Fish Armor. Now this armor is definitely for underwater exploration. I'm gonna show you everything that you need to get all these individual parts also i just want you to see the helmet the helmet it has some type of glass but i don't know if that's glass or if that's just like a bubble because our relation to our height and stuff is it would be it'll make sense for it to be a bubble so this is what you need to make this you need a koi fish scale you need a diving mask you need the eel grass strand you need lily pad wax and you need diving bell spider silk so i believe that there are actually going to be spiders that can walk on water Again, well, that's why I said with the Strider thing. So uh, I'm hoping that these things just don't chase us underwater somehow. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> okay, let's get into this next one. Let's see, what is this one? What's the next one? The Koi Fish Chest Plate. Now, you need Koi Fish Scale. You need a Cattail Fluff. You need the Eelgrass Strand. Lily Pad Wax. And you need a Bone. Now, I don't know where none of these things are coming from. The cattail fluff, obviously, we know it's going to come from a cat or something like that. The bones, I do not know where they're coming from, but it looks dope. Let's go to the next one here. Let's see what we have. What we have? What we have? We have the koi scale grease. Now, we need the uh, koi fish scale. We need the catfish fluff. 
we need the eelgrass strand lily pad wax and we need flippers now again these things they offer protection and they increase our swim speed just by a little bit but we do not get any type of defense with these type of things so don't go in the water thinking that you're gonna kill something you're probably not baby <laughs> not with these on but again we, you know we can combine armor so we can try to do different armors with those now we got the flippers here and they are fashioned out of a str uh, strider's leg what well, that again that's the striding spider leg and uh we got hydrodynamic materials. These an elegant flipper, significantly increased swimming ability. Now you need the water boatman fin, the eelgrass strand, the lily pad wax, and the strider legs. Let's see what the next thing is here. A diving mask. It is an improved rebreather that combines prowess and the hydrophobic materials to make even more air pockets for extended underwater breathing. Now what you need for this is a rebreather, a uh, eelgrass strand, and a cattail fluff. Now they do have a, a rebreather that's just by itself without the whole diving mask. And I'm going to show you that also. And I think that's the, actually the last thing I'm going to show you. Yeah. So right here it says the mouth teeth form out of reeds and other hydrophobic material. Creates a thin air pocket that allows for longer underwater breathing. And it gives you, it makes you, uh, the plus of this is actually veteran diver. So you need lily pad wax, sprigs, and plant fiber. And those are actually the things that I'm going to, I'm going to be making those like off top. As soon as they are available, I'm making them off top because I need to go underwater. I am a Capricorn. That is a water animal. So <laughs> we have to go underwater. That's what I like to do. And guys, uh, I definitely want to give a big shout out again to Grounded Guide for doing the data mine of all this information, bro. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for getting this information out there. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Peace.